After being crowned champions of the Christmas City Classic a week ago, the Kent State women's basketball team returns to Northeast Ohio to host St. Bonaventure as non-con basketball rolls on across the country. Hello, everybody, and welcome inside the broadcast booth. I'm Tyler Henry, joined by Jack Burney. And Jack, tonight, two teams coming in under very different non-con pretenses, but both very much in control of their own destiny. Absolutely. Kent State is off to a 4-2 and two start this season. They've won three in a row. They'll look to make it four in a row in front of the home crowd. And St. Bonaventure, they're only two and six, but they got to win their last time out. They'll look to string together back-to-back -to -back victories. Yeah, Kent State today kicking off the holiday season, celebrating that, but we're also in for a block party here in Northeast Ohio as we get set to take a look at one of the best shot blockers in the nation in St. Bonaventure's very own Ayana Lopes. She has the, abil the ability to take over the game in the paint with her athleticism and physical strength down by the block on both ends of the floor, and I expect her to play a big role for the Bonnies today offensively and defensively against the likes of Lindsey Thal for Kent State. Yep, and that'll be the one-on-one -on -one matchup to watch. Lopes has had her way with a lot of players in the country this year, but Lindsey Thal handled her very well in these two teams' matchup a season ago, and Thal's quickness and three-point shooting ability will add a few things into that mix as well. Lindsay Thal can do it all on the court for Kent State, inside, outside. She's the all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of Kent State women's basketball, and she also leads the team in blocks and has 178 career blocks, which is 10th in the D1 among active players. So as we get set to take a look at this matchup, we've highlighted the individual keys, but Jack Burney, what are your keys to the game between these two teams? St. Bonaventure, they need to have a block party, be able to contest Kent State's shots. They also need to win the rebounding battle. They're 2-0 this season when they do that. Kent State spread the wealth, get a number of scores involved, and defend your home court if you want to get a win today. 